Hello everyone, Shane here, and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Battlefield 2042 beta. Gunplay seems smooth, but there are some issues, like bullets not registering, especially at farther ranges. And I don't know if that has something to do with the netcode or something to do with some, some other part of the game not functioning correctly. Royal, recoil could be inconsistent. At the best of times, sometimes there it, it, it feels like a laser beam, and other times you have moderate recoil. It's not a huge deal because you know if you know how to control the recoil, it won't bother you too much. And I don't know why, but sniping doesn't feel as rewarding as it did. I don't know why, but it doesn't. And on the topic of sniper rifles, the long range scopes, the long range scope that we got in the beta did not have mill dots. Why does that scope not have mill dots? Pretty much every scope used in the military that I'm aware of now for long range shooting has mill dots for obvious reasons. But overall, the time to kill seems very good. And I think the gunplay has taken a turn for the better. And as long as they don't change anything to do with the time to kill or anything else, I think we'll be okay. Movement feels smooth, but a little bit more faster pace compared to the past games. And you might not like that, and you might like that. It really depends on your taste. I didn't mind it too much, but I did find myself playing it more like a Call of Duty than I did a Battlefield. But I didn't mind it. I thought it worked pretty well for the game. And if you didn't, that's fine. I, I, I can understand that. The sound design in battlefield 2042 i am happy to report is outstanding everything sounds amazing in this game i could tell where shots are coming from like which directions they're coming from sometimes you can maybe tell what it is like if it's a vehicle or small arms you can tell the difference between that and you can definitely hear footsteps a lot better than you could in modern warfare so that's a huge w in my book the sound design of this game is great no problems there i, I have heard from some people that things seem to get lost in, in other sounds but i haven't had that issue i think the sound design is great i really miss the class system from previous battlefields it's hard to find people that are going to drop you ammo or medkits, and it just doesn't feel the same. There's not like a give and take anymore, and people just build their characters solely around their needs instead of the needs of the team. Ground vehicles are very powerful, as they have been in previous battlefields. It takes a lot of teamwork to take out a tank. I mean, you can do it by yourself, but it's better... To do it as a team, it doesn't take as long. And the AA vehicle, I don't remember what it's called, is extremely powerful. It can be extremely devastating if used correctly. I didn't use jets very much in the beta, so I can't really speak on them. I have heard some people find the controls for those not really work very well, so that's neither here nor there. I, I can't speak to that. But I can speak to helicopters. Helicopters, especially the little bird, are insanely powerful. If you're if you have a good pilot and a good gunner and an attack helicopter, you're gonna wipe the floor. It's just how it is. It's how it's always been. It's no different here. It, it takes a lot of skill though. It took me a little bit to to get used to the handling of the helicopters on a keyboard and mouse. I, it took a while, but I finally got it towards the end of the beta, and I was destroying with them. But I do feel like the missiles, the missile pods, aren't very powerful to infantry or to tanks. I mean, it takes you like half a rocket silo to kill one infantry. And then I don't even know how many to take out a tank. Like, it, you might as well not even try. And then there's the AA. And the AA can be very hard to deal with. I'm mainly talking about the vehicle that is the anti-air. 
as long as the person is sticking back behind the front lines and they're not trying to take out you know do you know try to take objectives like it's a tank which happens quite often and they they get swarmed by infantry when that happens if they're actually using the vehicle as an aa you're gonna have a difficult time trying to take them out and eventually as time goes on and as the more people you kill get angry and angrier at you people are going to start trying to hunt you down with the AA tank with the AA rocket launcher and it, it, it can become a pretty hard time but if you're good at dodging missiles you can I did sometimes see missiles like curve in an unrealistic manner just to get me I don't know if that's lag or what that is So here we are at the end of the video, and I just wanted to give my final thoughts. The game has a lot of issues. There's a lot of glitchiness. Sometimes aircraft will glitch through the sky. There's plenty of examples of that on YouTube. I'm sure you can find them. There will probably be plenty of examples in the gameplay that I uh, show here. And like I said before, sometimes it seems like bullets don't register hits like they should. But overall, I think the game seems pretty fun. I enjoyed my time. I'll probably keep my pre-order. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.